Indie Mogul. Oh, hello again, Indie Mogulers, and welcome back to Eric Builds the Movies. Remember that weird, sort of creepy teaser video we posted a while ago? Well, several of you asked how we built the TV head, and since this show is pretty much all about me building things, I thought, oh well, what the heck? Let's show them. First off, if you thought we did this with a green painted screen, motion tracking, and a bunch of fancy computer crap, you'd be wrong. What is this? Film Riot? This is an actual working TV that you can wear as a helmet. My main inspiration was the Prince robot character from the Saga comic series. But enough small talk. I present to you how to create a TV head in seven easy steps. Step one, find an old school TV or monitor. Originally, I picked up this old iMac on Craigslist for 10 bucks because I love the weird shape. But when I got it to the shop, I realized it was probably too big. And that's when the dumpster gods smiled upon me. Someone tossed this little beauty right outside the shop. I swear, hand to Jeebus, we did not plant this. Promise. Might actually be better. Step two, gut your old TV. That's right, I took this little blessing in from the cold and proceeded to rip out all its guts. Sorry, little guy. Safety tip, remember to be super careful when taking apart old TVs. These puppies have big ass capacitors that can shock you bad. Just saying, be careful, don't sue us. Step three, make it wearable. First, I cut a hole in the bottom for my head and lined it with some foam pipe insulator. But apparently my big fat head is bigger and fatter than I thought. I think we need to maybe cut the neck hole bigger. Next, I had the brilliant idea to mount a hard hat inside to keep the TV from flopping around. This didn't work. My cheaper and easier solution, some inexpensive two inch foam and spray glue. Hey guys, what? Just a dude wearing half TV, no big deal. Step four, replace the screen. This 13.3 inch LED TV was pretty perfect. It was designed to run off a car's 12 volt battery. Plus it was so light, it felt like one of those fake TVs at Ikea. Step five, put them together. Our new TV was widescreen and our old TV was lame ass four x three. So I had to fashion a simple four x three frame using some thin plexi I had laying around. Not my finest work, but after some silver paint and double-sided tape, the whole thing looked pretty legit. Step six, electronics. To test things out, I found an adapter to connect my iPhone and boom, instant video feed that was even creepier than I had imagined. But to make it totally self-contained, I wanted to pump video to the TV with a Raspberry Pi. Yum. No, not that one. This one. These tiny computers are cheap and can be run off batteries. However, setting them up can be a bit frustrating for beginners. I certainly lost several hours of my life. <sighs> but thankfully, there are tons and tons of tutorials online. Bored yet? Don't worry, we're almost done. I finished up the electronics by adding a power switch and wiring both the TV and the Pi to run off a cheap 12 volt lead acid battery, which when secured to the back of the TV acted as a perfect counterweight to the front loaded helmet. But still, something wasn't quite right. Oh yeah, I couldn't see shit. Step seven, add a periscope. Using a rotary tool, some cardboard, a couple small plastic mirrors, and hot glue, I was again blessed with vision. To hide the creepy reflection of my eyeballs, I used another piece of our scrap acrylic and covered it with some stick-on car tinting. Boom! Done! We set up the Pi to play videos off a standard thumb drive, and after testing, we found that our $17 battery lasted for over eight hours. Now you too can make your very own TV head helmet Thing. Great for walking the floor of your favorite con or taking to a festival like Burning Man to freak out people on drugs. <laughs> if you still have any burning build questions, go check out our Patreon page. We post exclusive extended build stuff there and I personally answer all the build questions. Check it out. Thanks for watching. We'll be back next time. Keep building stuff.